did Myra, she personally uh, teach you? Yes, so what happened then, we went to Bangor in Wales, and we attended a, a little seminar there. And um, as you know, there were always lots of flowers around Maharishi. So it was always a very, um, nature was very involved. You got the feeling, you know, he often used to carry the flowers. So it was this feeling of connection with nature that was very grounding. And then eventually we went out to Rishikesh with him, which right. was more sustained. How long had you been meditating when you went to Rishikesh? Um, I'm not sure of the exact timings because it was 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say a month or so. Uh huh. A month or roughly that. And when you got to Rishikesh, uh, you went to the ashram. And uh, what was the routine like? Um, what was the experience like uh, in Rishikesh? It was, it was great. It was um, very straightforward, very simple. The whole place was very simple. There was nothing fancy about it. Um, you would just go for, wake up, you would then go for breakfast in the morning, a light breakfast. You just socialize a bit with the other members and uh, just get to know each other. And then you would go back for your morning meditation you go back to your room. And we had little chalets kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Each of us had little rooms, mm -hmm. which were very simple but adequate. And you would just sit and you would meditate. And then there was lunch. And, you, and you'd, again, you'd socialize and chat and stuff. And then you'd meditate in the afternoons. Sometimes Maharishi would have a meeting every so often with you. Um, and you could talk to him about your experiences and he would, you know, just ch help, mm -hmm. guide you. Mm -hmm. And then in the evening there was a kind of question and answer session, mm -hmm. um, which was slightly more formal. That was in a hall. And we would all just be in there, all the, uh, all the students, and Maharishi would come on and talk. And then he would take questions. He would, he would just listen mm -hmm. uh, about people's experiences. And that was kind of, the, that was the sort of thing that happened each day. Uh -huh. Did you write, how many songs did you write in Rishikesh, do you think? We wrote quite a few between yeah. us, yeah. We had uh, some good inspiration. Uh -huh. And you know, in the times when we weren't meditating, we had our guitars with us. Right. So we would um, we'd do quite a little bit of writing. It was, it was inspirational. Yeah. Mm. It wasn't all about meditation. It was uh -huh. just you felt good. Um, but yeah, there were some very blissful moments. I remember one in particular when I'd been meditating for a little while and I'd got to a really good place. And I remember the feeling was that I was a feather. I felt like I actually was a feather floating over a hot air pipe. And I was just, it was a very nice feeling. And I remember that vividly. Uh -huh. And I reported that to Maharishi, and he giggled. Yes, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Such a joy. Fantastic. Mm -hmm.